So this question is a simplified question. And more specifically, I'm starting to call these questions island questions. Why island questions? Because we're provided an equation floating on top of a short passage. And that equation kind of floats on top like an island. Okay. Whenever I see that format on the SAT, I am inputting that equation directly into Desmos. And I do suggest that you do the same. So let's read this question and let me show you how Desmos works here. So the question says, in the given equation, S and R are constants and S is greater than zero. If the equation has infinitely many solutions, what is the value of S? So again, I'm gonna directly input this equation into Desmos. As you can see here, um, I initially had the equation directly input into Desmos like this. When I had that in my first line, there was no graph that showed up on Desmos. I've learned that whenever that happens, I just take the second half of my equation and place it down on line two. So that's exactly what I did. So just remove that. So that R times X minus eight is on line two. And we get two lines. Now we have a blue line for the left side of the equation and a black line for the right side of the equation. If you recall, the question said that the equation had, or that the graph was infinitely many solutions. So in order to have infinitely many solutions, I know that the blue line and the black line should completely overlap with each other. We were also told that our S values are greater than zero. So you can see here, um, I first of all decided to think about, well, the infinitely many solutions means they have to overlap. So I want my blue line and black lines to be parallel to start. So I slid my R, which initially was at one, right? that's like the default. I just moved it over until they looked parallel to me and that started at, or that led me to R equals three. So I zoomed in, zoomed out until they looked parallel where I could see they were not crossing ever. And that led me to R equaling three. Once I got that, I you know, locked in my R value. Next is to focus on the S value. So my S value, I was told is greater than zero. So that's where I just adjusted my range here for S values being greater than zero. Um, I moved my high point up to 500 just because initially it was at a high of 10. And when I moved it up to 10, I wasn't getting close enough to the lines overlapping and you know not close enough at all. So I just moved it up to 500. So you can see here, by the time I got to 402 for S, my blue line was right to the left of the black line. And at 404, it's to the right of the black line. So I know that at 403 is where I have the exact overlap, right? So now we can't even see the blue line because it's hidden beneath the black line. So that means complete overlap, which means we have infinitely many solutions. So that was how I completely answered the entire question on Desmos. Hopefully that all makes sense. Just going back to the original question now again, again, everything here was put in Desmos. This ended up being the left side of the equation. So this was line one in Desmos. The right side ended up being line two in Desmos. And then infinitely many solutions just means both lines overlap. And then the question told us that S was greater than zero, so we can adjust that in decimals to make that true. And of course, the higher bound there, you have complete control over, just you know, continue to increase that until you get where you need it to be. And then Desmos does the rest of the work for us to figure out what S actually is. And for us, it ended up being 403. So you can also see my scale. I zoomed in very closely because you can imagine that you know, if I'm zoomed out here, this is going to look like it's overlapped. But I really wanted to make sure that it truly was overlapped. So you can see, right, I'm negative 21.5, negative 22. I really zoomed in to make sure that I could see exactly where this overlapped. So at 404, again, I'm on the right. At 402, I'm on the left. So I know at 403, this truly is a correct answer.